We're now going to show how row operations can be used to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix, and thus can find the inverse of any square matrix, any invertible square matrix. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use row operations here, and again, we're going to use gauss jordan elimination after we augment our matrix with the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So now that we've created our augmented matrix, we're going to start by Let's put a, let's take row 1 minus row 2 and store that in row 1. So it's going to be a minus 2, 3, 4, 0, minus 1, 0. That gives me the matrix 1, 0. That should be a minus 4 because we're subtracting. 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And then the rest stay the same. And I did that rather than dividing by 3 because I'd like to avoid matrices or fractions, rather, in my matrices as long as possible. Well, now I need to get zeros below it, so we're going to take row 2 minus 2 times row 1 and store that in row 2, which the great news is that's all we have to do because row 3 is already done. So it's going to be minus 2, 0, 0, minus 2, 2, 0. Add those together, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 3, 4, minus 2, 3, 0, and 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, same type of idea, we, we need to get this spot right here to be a 1, so I'm going to swap the rows first. Let's just swap row 2 and row 3. So 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 0, minus 3, 4, minus 2, 3, 0. All right, from here, we just need to change our signs. So minus row 2 gets stored in row 2. 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0. 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. And of course, our bottom row stays the same. Well, now we take row 3 and add 3 times row 2, and we'll store that in row 3. So that gives me 3, minus 3, 0, 0, minus 3. So this gives me 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1, and 0, 0, 1, minus 2, 3, minus 3. And notice, we already got it. We already have our third row correct, so we don't need to do any divisions which is nice. That means there's not going to be any fractions. And then we just need to work back up. So that's the last spot I have to deal with. Row 2 plus row 3 will get stored in row 2. So that's going to give me 0, 0, 1, minus 2, 3, minus 3. We add all that together, and we get our final answer, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. I have my identity matrix on the left now. 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 2, 3, minus 4. Minus 2, 3, minus 3. So my answer is A inverse is equal to 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 2, 3, minus 4. Minus 2, 3, minus 3. Here is my inverse matrix of my original matrix, 3 minus 3, 4, 2 minus 3, 4, and 0 minus 1, 1.